everybody! Welcome back! If you're new here, hi! I'm Mercury and welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I happen to be up to today is what you're gonna see here. And today I gotta make some dinner. I found a recipe that looked very, very similar to this delicious cauliflower appetizer that I got back when I was in California at Disneyland. I it was delicious and mind-blowing and I wanted that flavor again. So I went online and like I, I looked at the menu from the restaurant and I looked at the ingredients and I found a recipe that looks pretty close so I want to give it a try. So I'll link the original recipe and any modifications that I do I'll put in the description of this video and let's see how this turns out. As always when I'm cooking I have all my ingredients lined up. I have it broken down into sections. So the first section is cauliflower. The second section is the sauce. So what I need for the cauliflower and preparing it is obviously the cauliflower, which is, I, I got the, the kind that's like pre-cut into florets. You could just get a whole head of cauliflower, that's fine. You also will need herbs de Provence, thyme, and majorum in terms of your herbs. Need some raisins. This one's almost empty, so I have the next one ready to go. You then need fresh lemon or lemon juice. Then you either need um, some kind of seed, like a, a shelled sesame seed, or I'm going to use pine nuts or pignoli nuts. You need salt and pepper and olive oil, and that will do it for the cauliflower section. That's just extra salt in case I need it. And this is the bowl that's all going to. Then for the sauce section, I have tahini. So if you're not familiar with what tahini is, it's like a nut butter, but it's a seed. So it's basically like blitzed up sesame seeds. Like if I look at the ingredients on this, all that's in here is organically grown, dry roasted, mechanically hulled sesame seeds. That's it. So it's literally ground up sesame seeds. I'm gonna need clove of garlic, honey, and then salt and pepper, some water, and some lemon juice again. So I will show you how we put this all together. So first things first, oven, 425. Then we're gonna open up this cauliflower. Next up, we're going to add the olive oil. Whoops. We're going to add the olive oil and the lemon juice. So the olive oil is two tablespoons. And the lemon juice is going to be little under um, a tablespoon or about half a lemon. I'm just gonna take my little spatula and just toss that a bit so that they all get coated. Next up comes the seasoning. First up, half a teaspoon of salt. Then I need a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I am all out of pepper from the, the jar, so I gotta take from my, my shaker here. But it's pre-ground. Then for the herbs, I'm gonna do approximately a tablespoon of each of these seasonings. First up is the majora. Next up, some thyme. I love thyme because it has this sort of lemony type of a quality to it. The herbs de Provence. I'm just 
just gonna toss this around. Everything good and coated. This is what it looks like. Next up, my favorite combination, cookie sheet, silicone baking mat. I use this silicone baking mat all the time. Um, I like it better than parchment paper. I just find it so easy to use and easy to wipe down afterward. Once you get one of these, you never go back. I just wish it fit my, my baking sheet better. <laughs> okay, cauliflower on the baking sheet. And I don't want to miss any of this. See all those good herbs? I'm gonna squeeze those out. Those right on top. And we'll spread these out so they cook evenly. These are gonna go in the oven 30 to 40 minutes and I'm gonna to toss them around a little bit in the middle. Also, the raisins and the pine nuts are gonna go in after it comes out of the oven. We'll put those to the side. Okay, now we make the sauce. So I have this little bowl put aside for the sauce. First up, I gotta mince the garlic. Now, in my time, I have seen a lot of fancy schmancy garlic peelers. I've done everything from smacking a garlic with a pot to squish it to get the skin off. I've tried all sorts of stuff. And over the years, you know what I found the easiest thing to do is? Here's the pop. That was the skin breaking. And let me show you. Look. See the skin broke? Just stick my finger right in there. That's the top off. So just be careful when you bend the garlic that you don't bend too far, but just snap the skin and the skin comes right off. Now we're gonna mince this. Next up, the tahini. So when I open this, you'll see that there's liquid on top. You have to stir that and incorporate the liquid. It's all liquidy up top. You can see at the bottom, it's all solid. So I gotta mix that up and incorporate the liquid into the solid. So you'll see once it's all mixed up, it has sort of a consistency of peanut butter. See, just like peanut butter. So for this, we need a quarter of a cup. Up next, I need a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. And a quarter of a cup of water. We need one teaspoon of honey. That's like a two count. Half a teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon pepper. Whisk, mix. See, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty loose sauce. It's the type of a sauce that'll like coat a spoon, but it's not gonna be thick and globby. So the oven just beeped and the cauliflower is done. So I'm gonna go grab that, uh, that baking tray. Here's my cauliflower. You can see I got a, a pretty good char on it, which is exactly what I was looking for. Then in this bowl, I put a quarter of a cup of raisins and a quarter of a cup of pine nuts. And the cauliflower is gonna go right in here. Okay, now we have our cauliflower here. I'm just gonna toss it in here with these raisins and pine nuts a little bit. And also the heat from the cauliflower is gonna help plump those uh, raisins a little bit and make them a little bit sweeter and juicier. So I'm gonna let this cool a little bit and then when I plate it up, I'm gonna put, drizzle a little bit of the sauce on top. Okay, so let's give dinner a taste. 
Also, if you saw on my plate, I also had some fish on my plate because that's what's for dinner tonight. And then the cauliflower went alongside the fish. So let's take a taste. Get some cauliflower. Wait, make sure I get some sauce on there and some raisins. We gotta get a little of everything in this bite, right? So let's see how it is. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, very good. The char that you get on that cauliflower is super important. It brings out this like next level of flavor profile. There's a lot of lemon flavors going on in there but it also is grounded with an earthy flavor from like the, the pinoli nuts with the tahini. Very, very well balanced. Not quite the same as what I had in Disney. Not quite that caliber, but not something I have access to here. So not bad, not bad. I would definitely make this again. I would definitely add this to my repertoire of uh, side dishes to make with dinner. It's very tasty. Cauliflower, Maybe some sauce. Mm -hmm. Everything I just said still stands. It's delicious. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my dinner. So, with that, I am done for the day. I'm going to finish eating. And I'll see you all tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care. <laughs>